Next on the list is local adjustments. If I were to click on the local tool in that toolbar, over in the far right, the local panel also becomes active. So this is just another way to access that local adjustment. Once you add a local adjustment, by default, the exposure is going to be at minus one. I prefer to kind of start from scratch. So I go over to the exposure name and I double click it and that resets it back to zero. I don't want to make areas darker in this image. Instead, I'd like to make them a little bit brighter. So I'm going to increase my shadows and also the exposure just by a little bit. Then I'm gonna go over to my image. I'm going to resize my brush, quite small. And then up at the top, I'm gonna to make sure my feather is set to 100. And I'm going to reduce the opacity down to about 50%. I'm also gonna make sure that I am set to paint in. And then I'm just going to start brushing and I'm kind of adding highlights to her hair here. Now this is obviously a little overdone. So if you find that maybe your adjustment is too intense, you can go over to your adjustment panel and you can reduce the opacity or you can play around with those sliders. And then if you'd like to preview those results, toggle the colored dot next to that adjustment and you can see it go on and off. There are a lot of different things that you can do inside of the local adjustments, including painting with color. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. And instead of clicking on that tool again, I'm just gonna click add adjustment. Again, I'll go down to that exposure and I'm gonna double click to set that back to zero. And instead of making a tone adjustment this time, instead I'm going to replace the color. So I'm gonna click on paint with color and I'm going to just kind of arbitrarily choose a color that I know will show up. So I'll choose a blue there that I have in my little swatches. I'm gonna increase my brush size and I'll go ahead and change my opacity up to 100%. Then I'm gonna start brushing. Now obviously this isn't exactly what I'm going for because I don't want there to just be a blob of color over the shirt, but I'll show you how to change that in just a moment. So once I have that color added, now I can go over to my paint with color options. I'm gonna click on that drop down that says solid paint and I'm gonna select replace color. You can also try classic and actually in this case, I think classic looks a little bit better. Now if I want, I can go in and refine some of these areas in the mask. So I may need to zoom in. I'll press that space bar to pan over and then reduce my brush size and make some refined masking to that edge there. I have an area right here that looks like I painted a little bit too much on the skin. So I'm gonna press Shift X, which is gonna change my mode to paint out. And then I'm going to brush over that area and it's going to remove it. There are some other areas I still need to refine. I'm not going to spend the time doing that right now, but if this were an image that I were working on, I would actually go in and fix some of these areas of this edge over here. But what I am gonna do is go over to my opacity and drop the opacity down a little bit. And I'm also gonna go in and actually change that color. And I'm gonna kind of just play around and maybe make it a little bit darker there. You can also just move that swatch around and I'll find a completely different color. I kind of like that kind of greenish teal. Now let me zoom out and I'll toggle that adjustment on and off so you can see what it did. 